Hello everybody! In this video you will see how to clean the system memory or free up some space for an Android smartphone or tablet PC and clean the device from junk files. One of the widespread problems with Android devices is the lack of system memory. The problem is especially serious with low-budget models equipped with 4, 8 or 16 GB of memory. Such small amounts of memory are filled up very soon. And when installing another application, game we update users see and notice that their device is running out of free space. I'd like to point out that I will show all methods for cleaning memory with the example of an Android smartphone. As there are many versions of Android and some devices may have their own firmware, the appearance in many items may differ a bit. However, you can find all of them in more or less the same locations. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. The usual symptoms of your device running out of memory are corresponding system messages or symbols appearing in the system tray. To make sure this is the actual cause of the problem and not a glitch of another app, go to Settings and find Memory, Storage or Storage and Backup. Go there and you will see the total memory amount of in your device and how much of that memory is still free. You will also see what takes up your space. I'll show you how to clean it from junk files or free up some space. The first step is to clean the cache. To do it, Go to Settings, find Memory, Storage or Storage and Backup. Go there and select Cached Data or Junk Files. Some versions of Android let you choose the type of junk files you are going to remove. As you can see, there are many of them. After that, Android will suggest you to confirm your decision to clean cached data. Now I'm going to say something trivial, but that's a necessary thing to do. To free up more memory, uninstall the apps and games which you don't need. To do it, go to Settings, Applications, select and remove the ones you don't need or those that take up too much space. Don't get upset when you have to uninstall some apps that you, uh, that you don't need now. You will always have the chance to have them back, even if you forget their names. The matter is that Google Play Market saves all Android applications you have ever installed. To do it, Go to Google Play Market. When you are there, go to Menu, My Apps and Games, Library. You'll find all apps you have ever installed with the use of your Google account. Click on Install next to an application name if necessary. You should also clean the device gallery from unnecessary photos and videos. Modern smartphones have powerful cameras. The pictures and videos they create, often in Full HD resolution, are quite big, which makes storing them all in your device unnecessary and even impossible. That is why, to begin with, go to Gallery to view your photos and videos. Delete the ones you don't need. If you want to have all of them or most of them, then transfer them to the computer. In one of my previous videos, I have shown you how to connect a smartphone to the computer. You will find the link in the description. You can also use one of the many cloud services available nowadays, such as Google Drive or Google Photo. By the way, Google Photo has a very useful function to delete from your device the photos and videos which you have already uploaded into the cloud storage. To do it, start Google Photo, go to Menu, Settings, select Free up space and confirm your choice. As a result, all pictures and videos already uploaded to your account at Google Photo Server will be removed from your device. If your device has got a memory card large enough for your needs, you can move your files or even applications there, but we will talk about it later. You can set up the camera on your smartphone or tablet PC so that it saves pictures and videos to the memory card instead of the system memory. To do it, start the camera, go to Settings and set the SD card as priority location. 
All the methods of cleaning memory that I have described are either built-in or standard. Sometimes one or two applications fill up the internal memory of an Android device as they work. We begin with the two apps that most often cause this problem – Viber and WhatsApp. The matter is that photos, images or videos received or sent with Viber or WhatsApp are saved in your gadget's memory. Logically, they tend to take up more and more space. What is interesting? Removing an image or video from the messenger does not mean removing it from the smartphone memory. Viber media files are stored in the gadget memory in the folder Viber, Media, Viber Images or Viber Videos. To see how much memory it takes up, tap on it and hold. After that, go to the folder Menu – Details. Remember, if you delete the files from here, from the smartphone memory, they will not be shown in Viber anymore. The same is true about files sent or received in WhatsApp. The only difference is that they are stored in the folder WhatsApp – Media. If you accidentally deleted Viber or WhatsApp files, it's possible to restore them. Read an article about it in our blog. I will give the link in the description. If you are an active Internet user, your browser cache can also take a lot of space. I recommend cleaning it. You can visit our channel and watch a video about cleaning cache and web history in popular browsers – Google Chrome, Yandex, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Microsoft Edge. I will give the link in the description. If you used all methods of cleaning the memory, but you feel there should be more free space, here are two more tricks which people don't usually pay attention to. 1. If you often use a navigator or Google Maps, your memory can be full of cached maps for offline use. To delete them, open Google Maps – it seems to be Android user's favorite. Go to Menu – Offline Maps – you will see all saved offline maps there. Tap on the menu next to a map and select Delete. Two. Things are similar with streaming music services, for example, Google Music, Boom, Yandex Music, Deezer Music, etc. The point is that streaming service playlists are saved to your phone's memory for offline use. Certainly, they also take up some space. To delete such offline playlists, for example, in Google Music, stop the application, go to Menu, Settings, Clear Cache. This way, everything will be removed. To remove only some of them, go to Menu – Music Library – Playlists and delete the ones you don't need one by one. For the future, you can change the location where the application data will be saved. Menu – Settings – Storage. Follow the link in the description to watch another video in our channel about downloading and listening to music on Android devices and a brief review of Android music apps. The last method to clean the memory of an Android smartphone or tablet PC from junk files is to use special cleaning applications. There are many such programs available. I'd like to point out the two of them – the most popular CleanMaster and the one we know well from Windows – CCleaner. CleanMaster has a user-friendly interface that anyone can understand. Besides, it is absolutely free and you can get it at Play Market. Find the link in the description. The application scans the entire system – cookies, file manager, browsing history, cache, and so on. Just press one button to remove all junk files. As a result, your system will be optimized and you get more free space and your phone works smoothly and quickly. You can quickly close the running processes which you don't need. In the menu, this function is called Phone Boost. This application can also give you a lot of information about your smartphone, for example, about the memory size and processor temperature. The higher it is, the slower your smartphone becomes. Though CCleaner for Android is not as popular, it doesn't need a special presentation. Almost everyone knows about its version for Windows. In Hetman Software Channel, we often speak about its functions. This utility is very useful. Start it and click Analyze, and the program will show you the amount and type of data that can be removed to free up some space. Besides the program features, a convenient application manager, a storage analyzer, system information on your device, 
and a cleaning scheduler. If your smartphone or tablet PC is totally run down and full of junk files, and all of the tricks I have shown in this video can't help you, then your choice should be to reset it to factory settings. To do it, go to Settings, Storage and Backup, Factory Reset. Often this function is divided into two variants – Reset Phone and Erase Data. Yet before you do it, make sure you have saved all important data – photos and videos, contacts, files, and so on. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.